طيب بويس كيف عطلكم في الفيديو تاع البروجرام اللي هم يا يسا يكولي الإيان مور اللي يودرت تور تا أوتيلو ولي شون جوني هو التور و سيكل كلمونا ندوما من البرودوكسيون تا أوتيلو سيكل نتكلمو دوار لاندامنتي و شوليت يا دين بخلا بريباراتسيوني على دين البرودوكسيوني وفيامنت تا أوتيلو First of all, I would like to welcome you here. Thank you very much for Thank being you. here. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Uh, and you, how are you, first of all? Great. Uh, looking forward to the sunshine, eventually, when it arrives. Eventually, when because it the weather is yeah. <laughs> yeah. a bit horrible and I'm cold. used to it. I'm used to the wind. <laughs> used to it. I'm used to the wind, used to the rain, so it's fine with me. So it's fine, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're hoping for a better weather yeah, anytime definitely. soon. Yeah. Anytime soon, from time to time. And we're going to talk about the things that we're talking about. We're talking about the Can you tell us and, and explain to, uh, to us a bit about this display? Um, I'll give you a thumbnail sketch of the of the plot. Um, it's a it's about a well-respected army officer mm -hmm. uh, who has uh, uh, an aide, mm -hmm. and the aide believes he's going to be promoted, mm -hmm. uh, but he's not. He's passed over for a, another soldier, um, and essentially the the aide, who's called Iago, um, decides to take revenge by. Um, scheming and plotting it's very it's very soap opera it's a shakespeare, um, yeah. it's a shakespeare play but but shakespeare used to write for the general masses in the uh -huh. in the late 1500s early 1600s and and his plays can be seen as kind of soap operas of their time so it's very soap opera uh, but we're staying true to the Shakespeare text. Exactly. The idea is basically um, a story that is so popular. It's obviously a revenge. Oh, yeah, a story that Shakespeare, the the two, the two, the two. من زمان الجوارة في يكون عم ديك الرومانتيزم وحفنا إلو تتلوت about أتلو أتلو is like it should be called Iago actually because it's about him it's not really about it's not about the Moor Sean plays Othello it's not really about the Moor it's about Iago and and how how clever he is at manipulating yeah. people and planting seeds and exactly. you see yeah. the seeds grow and, and into into you know, uh, uh, something which you know is not quite true um, grows into an absolute truth and the people who are told believe that it's 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 a fascinating uh, piece of writing but for sure and it's uh, Shakespeare yeah. one of my yes. favorites yeah. personally yeah. What is drew you to the play? You're, you're, you're playing the main uh, yes, character I am. then. Wow. Um, I've known Ian for some time now when mm -hmm. we did a version of Othello in the UK. I'm originally from the capital of the UK, um, of England, called, it's called Liverpool. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, I, I, it's a place of arts and culture and music and sport, as you know already. So I had known Ian for a mm -hmm. while since then, and then he gave me the opportunity to come here to do it, but in more of a full-length version, isn't it? Yeah. More yeah. compared to a more of a bridge version that we did in the UK. So, in Inglaterra, we have a lot of versions of the play, versions of the play, and we have a lot of versions of the play. Versions, the play, the play. Um, uh, is it better? Yes. yes. It's, it's much better. It, it, it is. It, um, and, and I'm not just saying this because it's in Malta and it's in Malta's <laughs> National Theatre. That's, that's not the reason I'm saying it's better. It's, it's different. Yeah. And, and it's different in a way that the first version Sean and I did was 2012? 2012, 2012 yeah. yeah. And so it was set in the First World War. Yeah, we set it in the First World War. And it, yeah. was, it, was, it was a touring show around UK venues, but it was for small-scale venues, and it was, it was directly aimed at the educational market. So we edited down to 90 minutes. So it was kind of movie length. Uh -huh. um, but this version is, is it's not quite the full version. Um, but it's, it's more expansive, because yeah. if you edit something down to 90 minutes, you really are... You know, reducing it in, in such a scale that you, you're not getting all of what I call the bones on the meat. But with regards to this version that we're staging um, uh, middle of May, um, you get all of the characters and they're all in depth. We've got a fantastic cast. Yeah. You know, Polly March, uh, Stephen Oliver, Alex Weinick, all and amazing performers. It is believed that this uh, play was written back in the 1600s. That's 1603, right. yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, we're giving it live, uh, liveliness, obviously, to it. Um, and that's, that's the joy of Shakespeare. I mean, exactly. it's relevant, very yeah. relevant. I mean, we've got, we've got Ukraine not, not a couple of thousand kilometers away where there's awful atrocities going on. Exactly. Um, and and, and this, this piece kind of, kind of sits with 
it, because it's about military, it kind of sits within that, not, not the, the awful atrocities, but it, it sits within that really nicely. It's so relevant about... Right now it's very relevant yeah. because it's about war yeah. and uh, romance and everything. Yeah. Basically, I didn't know that they are is very zone to we lie oh I see of your mentor we locked her under translate that Kelly I'm a tight time for a plot to of your mentor Palissa at this town I'm low and it'll let out time in Habba she know what they feel for Ukraine of your mentor my do I know she didn't get right to for 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 a how is the creative process going <laughs> I don't know who I'm going to direct this question. <laughs> it's, it is challenging, mm -hmm. um, but we're enjoying the process because the cast is amazing. Yeah. And um, we're rehearsing daily, um, mostly evenings um, and weekends, but we're, we're putting in the work. The creative process is, yeah. you know, a script that thick. <laughs> so there's a lot to learn. Um, but there's a lot to research and you've got a lot of... You've got to do a lot of background of the characters as well. You've got to understand the story, you've got to understand the text. So it is a creative process that is challenging, but it's enjoyable. This is something yeah. I, yeah. I was always intrigued about. I like, I love drama. Mm -hmm. um, when, when you play such an important role like Otello, and you said you do some research. Yes. What type of research do you do? How do you understand what type of character you need to bring out? So we, we looked at different things, didn't we? Because yeah. we, we, we yeah. had to look at the relevance of the setting because it's set around military intelligence. Uh -huh. um, but we also had to look at um, the origins of the characters and how the characters relate. We had to look into that as well. Okay. Um, okay. So there is various, so many different things. There are but there so is, many things. Yeah. There is an intense research, a lot of research goes into yeah. this production. For yeah. sure, for yeah. sure. Basically, the night do an equally. Bħala attur, uħaj għam il-parti ta' importanta għafna, ovjament ta' Otello, għamnu riċerċ għabel, għabel ovjament jgħamnu performance ta' għom biex jikuni għafu għazat jitħlu għazat ta' għamel, jitħlu fil-kittar fil-karattru. And it's really important to go into the character, so obviously everything starts making more sense. Yeah, I see the creative process like building a jigsaw. So you have you have the frame. Yeah. Depends on how big the jigsaw is. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you have the frame, and once you've mm -hmm. got the frame, everything goes into it. So you've got exactly. you've got your character development, your costumes, you know, etc. So and, and eventually, we're all aiming to finish the jigsaw. Exactly, and the, the proud moment at the end when everything is, is yeah. complete. Yeah. How do I think this is for you? How so difficult it is to stay faithful to the original story in a contemporary staging? Um, it's my primary objective, um, simply because he wrote it. Um, and anyone who, even in modern terms, anybody who writes or puts pen to, puts pen to paper with regards to being creative, I admire immensely, because it's a, it's a huge, huge commitment. Because you're emptying, you know, you're, you're emptying not just your head, but your heart onto a page. And, you're, you're exp and, and so um, actually staying true to what was originally written, written. is really, really important for me. Um, however, as, you, as we've mentioned, it's a, it's a contemporary setting, so it's, 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 there's, there's a weird kind of dichotomy between... Um, we've actually set it in, in, in modern-day uh, Italy and modern-day Cyprus. And it's kind of... One of the things that I always struggle with is when the characters call each other my lord or my lady, because in modern dialogue you wouldn't use that. Mm -hmm. So there are little things we have to kind of just let go because you've got to stay true to, to the iambic pentameter and the beat of, of each character and the way it works. So it's, it's, it's an ongoing, um, uh, I wouldn't say it's a struggle, but it's an ongoing battle to stay true to, to the what, the wrote, what, what the author wrote. What he wrote. Yeah. I mean, uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's important to stay true. I mean, for, for, for people who love Shakespeare, yeah. they are expecting probably to see something that was actually written they, yes they will original yeah you know not not changed drastically so they'll hear the original dialogue the, there are a couple of things that we've we've played with yes that they make might go yeah. Ooh, that's interesting <laughs> how they've done that because what we've done mm -hmm. is we've looked at the, the the original kind of writing and thought okay it's a, he passes a note to him and he pass and we've we've substituted those with ipads for example, yeah. in laptops. Yeah. So that's that's a very on a simple level, but on a bigger level, there are certain scenes that we've we've put in. Uh, there's the scene where um, 
uh, Othello really wants to know from Iago what what uh, what the truth is. Mm -hmm. And in most versions, he just says, "Tell me the truth," and he tells him. But we have we've gone down a, a different path, very Actually, different path, very different path. <laughs> so basically, at night, do our neck wa illi wa defeatly, pero the three provide a fu l-istess paġna ta' ovvjament ta' kif jinkina tinkitbet l-istorja oriġinali bix ma nibluwix xafna għal-issa l-ħajja moderna għax-qaf bel my lady ma konnixna d-najduwa ma pero om dak li jkun li ħajġi għara o tello se jistenn ovvjament li jkun li riti għara l-istorja primarja kif kienet Jealousy and revenge, that's what Otello is about These will be two recurring teams during this production. Mm -hmm. There's more. There's a yes. lot more. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot more. There's jealousy, revenge, prejudice. Duplicity. Duplicity, racism, sexism. <laughs> it's all in there. It's a soap opera. It is yeah. a soap opera. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. 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 People love soap opera. Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's not a short plot. It's a mamula min era, revenge. Oh, I couldn't ignore it. Not do on a criticism. Well, just the hell. Fear, the fear. Um, very interesting. Immense. When will when it will be held? Uh, we open on the. We have an open dress rehearsal on the 12th of May, and then we open fully on the 13th to the 15th. In fact, in fact, the Adnara or Emmekil, the ticket of your end star hotel, or. So 12th and yeah, we 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 have an unofficial unofficial soft opening on the 12th and then officially mm -hmm. on the 13th to the 15th of May. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Not uh, long to go, um, but uh, long enough. Time, uh, Just, time yeah, it's enough we're, time. We're well on course. It better be. <laughs> better be. You need to remember all these yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> scripts and everything. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll be good. We'll be good. Very yes, good. I wish you best of Thank luck. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for been a pleasure being coming here. here, and I wish you all the best. And obviously it's, uh, that you enjoy the performance and everything, especially the main character, yeah. <laughs> on, to be Thank on you. point. Uh, and good luck. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much.